Hello, I Dr. Manish Sharma, Professor and Head in the Department of Oral Pathology at Surinder Dental College Research Institute, Sri Ganganagar, Rajasthan. Today, I'll be discussing about the topic of biopsy. So, the word biopsy is instigated from the Greek term bios and opsis, that is vision of life. A biopsy consists of the obtainment of tissue from a living organism with the rationale of examining it under the microscope in order to establish a diagnosis based on the sample. There are certain types of biopsy depending upon the procedure. First is the exfoliative cytology, then fine needle aspiration cytology, punch biopsy, incisional biopsy, and excisional biopsy. The exfoliative cytology is the microscopic examination of shed or desquamated cells from the epithelial surface, usually the mucous membrane. In this procedure, a wooden spatula is used to scrap the buccal mucosa, but due to the pressure of the cells and folding of these cells, the alteration of cytoplasm may be visible on the microscopic picture. To reduce this error, a cytobrush is now a preferred device for the scene. The oral CDS technique is an advanced form of the exfoliative cytology where an oral CDS brush is used for the technique. The FNSE a fine needle aspiration cytology is a technique whereby the cells are obtained from a lesion using a thin bore needle and smears are made for cytopathological diagnosis. This technique is based on the fact that the tumor cells are less cohesive and easily aspirated. This technique is used in the diagnosis of breast lump, thyroid nodules, liver diseases, subcutaneous soft tissue mass, salivary gland disorders, and oral diseases with a cystic content. So FNAC is used with the aspiration where the thin bore needle is used for the aspiration of the material from a cystic content and the smears are prepared for the microscopic examination. The punch biopsy, it is a hollow circular scalpel which is used to cut into a lesion on the skin or mucous membrane. The instrument is turned clockwise or counterclockwise to cut down about four millimeter to the layer of a fatty tissues below the dermis. A small sample of the tissue is removed to be checked under the microscope and the skin thickness is different on different part of the body. Incisional biopsy, the intent of an incisional biopsy is to sample only a representative portion of the lesion and if the lesion is large or has many different characteristics. So more than one area may be required for the sampling. So in the incisional biopsy, we always took a part of the lesion which should be a representative of that particular area. And the, le the lesion or the part of the lesion, it should be, has a desirable narrow depth of the lesion. The excisional biopsy, where the incision is placed around the lesion and the whole lesion is taken out for the microscopic examination. And after the excision, the operating sites are sutured. So that's all for the today's lecture or discussion. Thank you.